Hey, hello everybody. Can you see me okay? Just walking outside enjoying this weather before it starts storming. So what's going on everybody on this Wednesday afternoon? Thought I'd call, gotta, thought I'd get on here and see what's going on. Explain to everybody what's going on so they know what's going on, you know what I mean? I'm wobbly, you know. The medicine makes you real dizzy. You know, that's why I got a life alert push that button when you fall yeah the reason i like that them right there because there's like a delay yeah sit there they sit there when you're on the ground with a busted ankle or busted head for like 20 minutes before actually somebody gets over there to help you that's what i don't like about them they just sit there and blah 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 but anyway about this whole anxiety garbage you know around halloween i was in there for a high pulse rate so they gave me, at the hospital, they gave me some IV fluids and monitored my blood pressure. It went down. It went down. So a week after that, it was high again, but it was like 180. So the hospital in there, the doctor says, I said, can you treat this? I said, it's been high like this for, for 24 hours. It won't go down. He goes, no. I just looked in the computer. You see a cardiologist in 12 days. We're just going to let him deal with it. You're just going to have to hang on to that 180 pulse rate for 12 days before you see a cardiologist. So I had to call my doctor to get a beta blocker to get it go down. I had to beg my doctor. She's like, they won't give you nothing? I said, no, they won't give me anything. Well, there for a while, I, every day of the week, I've been going over the hospital because my heart has been going racing up and down and my blood pressure was high. When they seen it in the ambulance, they're like, oh, is that anxiety? I said, no, it's not. Cardiologist said it's inappropriate sinus tracheata. So now they got me locked in the hospital as anxiety. They got it flagged in their system. Like if he comes in, it's anxiety for anything. So I went there nine times and within eight or nine weeks. And I go in there with a high pulse rate and a high blood pressure rate, like 225 over 139. And they say, oh, it's anxiety. We, get, we You'll be okay. You don't need no treatment. We see people in here all the time with a lot worse than that. So that's what I deal with. So every time I go there, I get flagged as flagged as anxiety then they then my then i go home with no treatment at all they just rush me out the door like they blew me off basically so then then uh, my insurance company called i said okay what's going on with this anxiety i said i explained to them it's not anxiety the hospital just blows that off as anxiety they said okay we're going to send a nurse to your house once a week well I explained to her because she had anxiety in her computer too. I said, oh, this whole anxiety thing is getting all the way out of context. I mean, this whole thing is not anxiety. And I showed her my heart monitor. I said, look, I'm wearing a heart monitor for 30 days. Well, I'll be wearing a heart monitor for 30 days for anxiety. So then my insurance company calls. Then my other nurse called because I had two nurses. She's like, okay, we're going to send a, a specialist, an anxiety specialist. I said, it's not anxiety. Don't be sending no specialist for anxiety to my house. I said, I explained to them. See what this whole anxiety stuff started? And it's actually a heart condition. It's not anxiety. It's crazy. You know what I mean? I had an episode when I was sleeping. My heart was pounding so hard, racing. It was like 139, 159. It was just jumping up to 179, 189. Laying in bed. Wait, asleep. You tell me that's anxiety? Yeah. They rushed me to the hospital. Oh, how much Mountain Dew you drink today? About three, two liters? Oh, that's anxiety. You're going to go home. That's the way it is. Anxiety, anxiety. I got sick and tired of it. I've been trying to get a hold of the hospital, tell them to take the anxiety crap out of their system. And they, you know, I called like three times a day. They don't return my calls. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So I figure um, I get on here, give you a quick update. What's going on? You know what I mean? <laughs> anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Oh my God. I've been working on it to get it out of the system. You just got to keep on calling and pounding and paying. I wrote them letters. And the insurance company's going to send an anxiety specialist to my house. And it's for a heart condition. These get, these, I'm telling you, it's getting bad. I don't know what's up with all this anxiety crap, but it's getting way out of context. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. <laughs> They're going to end up killing somebody. Because you know, I had an episode Sunday, and the lady, my nurse is like, nurse on calls, like, go to the hospital, it's that high. I said, they'll tell me it's anxiety, and they'll send me home. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, every time. Your heart rate is 180, and your blood pressure is 225 over 139. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I'm laying in bed suffering. And I said, that if I go to the hospital, it's going to be anxiety. And the hospital, the ambulance, the ambulance will come and say, hey, 
we're not rushing you to the hospital. It's anxiety. You're not dying. That's what they tell me. So they don't turn the lights and sirens on. They drive there normal, and they say it's anxiety. So they got me locked in, and the ambulance driver and the hospital, anxiety. Rush him out the door, escort him out the door. That's how they do it. They escort me out the door saying it's anxiety, and you're going to go home. The last time I was there, as soon as I walked in there, in my bed, got on my bed, they're like, you're going home. I'm like, I just got here. They said, it's anxiety. It's anxiety. You're going to go home. We can't help you. It's anxiety. You're going to go home. That's how it's been. It's been pretty pretty nasty the past six months, I'm telling you. It's just, I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? It's crazy. When they see that heart rate bounce up and down or up and down on the heart meter, the heart monitor, they swear up and down is anxiety because it jumps like real fast. Like, you're like, what is that? That's got to be anxiety. How much coffee you drink? How much Mountain Dew you drink? About three, two liters? That's the way it is over there. So they got plastic in the system. If he goes in there for broken leg, just blame anxiety, don't treat it, and send him home. I did not get treated at all. No blood pressure medicine, no beta blocker to get it to go down. I walked in with a high blood pressure all nine times and a high pulse rate and walked right back out, not getting treated. They blew me off nine times over anxiety, and it's not anxiety. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? But you guys have a great day, okay? Bye now. Let me know. Comment.